Hey everyone, it's Grady, and we're back in Night Metro Kingdom again, because today I want to show off another cool skip that I found here. So as you probably know, normally when you beat Night Metro for the first time, you have to go through the inside of this big city hall building. It's pretty tall, and there's not really any way to climb up the side of it, so you might think you have no choice but to go through it. But as it turns out, it is possible to skip this interior section, and today I'm going to show you how. To do this, we're going to need to use 2 player mode, because 2 player mode has this glitch called Cappy Return Cancels, which let us teleport Cappy to certain faraway locations. We can use this to hit checkpoints with Cappy and then warp to them, and there just so happens to be one at the top of the city hall. Cappy Return Cancels are sort of a confusing trick to understand, so I'm not going to go super in depth on them here, but I'll explain the basic idea, at least for the way that I'm going to do it for this trick. First, you need to get Cappy stuck behind something. Normally, Cappy can only move within a certain horizontal range of Mario, but if there's something in his way, he won't be able to come back, so you can get as far away from him as you want. Once he's stuck, you need to get really far away from him, and then aim at where you want to teleport him. If you want to aim upwards, you have to stand on a slope that's at the right angle, so it can be a bit of a challenge to find the right slope. But once you've found it, you just aim and hold the crouch button as Mario, and while you're doing that, you call Cappy to return to you by pressing Y on his controller, wait 3 fourths of a second, then press Y again to cancel the return and force Cappy to teleport. The place that you get Cappy stuck has to be in more or less the same direction as where you want to teleport him. So for this trick, I had to find a good place to get him stuck that was sorta near the top of the city hall. This girder shaft here works great. After sticking Cappy there, I made my way up to this slope on top of this building, and then I performed the return cancel. Now, it was here that I noticed a major roadblock. The checkpoint actually despawns when you're this far away from it, so Cappy wasn't able to hit the checkpoint just from doing this. This is where I had to get a little creative. After a bit of testing, I figured out that the only place that the checkpoint really spawns, besides the top of the building, is right here where the entrance is, and only if you're looking at it. Now there aren't any slopes here that are anywhere near steep enough to shoot Cappy all the way up to the checkpoint. So at this point, I realized what I had to do. Perform the original Cappy return cancel to get Cappy stuck up near the checkpoint. Then platform my way all the way up to where this entrance is without letting Cappy get unstuck. And then look up at the checkpoint while Cappy touches it to activate it. This is a lot harder than it sounds, because you have to traverse the kingdom without Cappy. So I'm going to walk you guys through how I did it. Once you do the Cappy return cancel, Cappy will try to return to you since you're so far away from him, but he sort of gets stuck behind this fence. This means you can go anywhere in the kingdom that's either on the opposite side of the fence as Cappy, or is close enough that Cappy is within Mario's normal range and won't try to pull back towards Mario. I've outlined these areas roughly as green zones on this map. Remember that only the horizontal distance to Cappy matters, not the vertical distance. If you look around a bit, you'll realize that the only way to get up to where the city hall entrance is without Cappy is by wall jumping up this girder shaft here. The problem is that this shaft is in the red zone on the map, meaning that Cappy will slide out and start coming back to Mario if we do that. To combat this, we actually need to get Cappy stuck in this doorway before we go around to wall jump up the shaft. When Cappy is stuck in the doorway, Mario can freely move around the northernmost areas of the map and Cappy sort of has an extra layer of protection stopping him from coming back to Mario. Here's another map. In this map, the green zones are areas you can freely move in, and Cappy will stay in the doorway. But if you enter a yellow zone, Cappy will slip out of the doorway and go back to being stuck on the railing instead. But how do we actually get him stuck in the doorway? When Cappy is outside of Mario's range, we can't actually move him. So what we need to do is go to this area near the base of the building so that we're close enough to move him around and get him into place. Of course, if we look at this map again, we have to stay inside the green zones to get up here. This is pretty easy if you just wall jump up here and walk across the top of this wall. To get him stuck, you sort of just have to feel around with him until you can tell he's nestled in the doorway. So now that Cappy is in the doorway, we need to actually get to the girder shaft so we can wall jump up to where the entrance is. To do that, we have to stay in the green zones on this map. And, well, there's a problem here. The way you would normally go up is this staircase here, but it's in the yellow zone. In other words, if we went up the staircase, Cappy would slip out of the doorway and get caught on the railing instead, 
So by the time we got to the wall jump shaft, he would slip away from the railing as well. So we have to find another way up. And, well, without Cappy, our options are pretty limited. But, as it turns out, there is one other way to get up that happens to stay in the green area. First, you can see that I sort of hug this corner as I go around it, otherwise I'd be just barely going outside the green area. The next part is the hardest part of the entire skip. Check it out. So yeah, it's a pretty awkward jump to say the least. You have to get a pretty good angle for the triple jump, then do a two player cap spin in midair and sort of rotate yourself as you're doing it. But if you manage to pull it off, the rest is pretty easy. After you wall jump up, you can just head straight to where the entrance to the city hall is. As you pass this point here, Cappy gets unstuck from the doorway and is stopped by the railing instead, so you need to make sure not to turn around. Once I got to the entrance, what I did was push Cappy to the back of the doorway and hop Mario up on this railing. The camera in this game doesn't actually let you tilt it straight upwards normally, so you have to switch back to single player mode, then quickly go into first person mode, and then snapshot mode so the game pauses. The reason for going into single player mode is because first person mode isn't actually available in two player. Now that you're in first person mode, you can freely look straight up at the top of the building, then unpause, and Cappy will move straight towards you and hit the checkpoint on the way. It can be a bit of a challenge to traverse the kingdom without Cappy, so if you're interested in trying the skip out yourself, I'll show you the entire skip from start to finish. If you're interested, you can stick around for that. But either way, I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe if you liked it, and have a great day.